Hello, it's Neil Paddock from How to Program Drums here, and this afternoon we're going to be looking at the Yamaha DD5 Digital Drum Kit. Um, is it a toy? Can you use it in your studio? Well, I've had this one quite a while. Um, let's just run through the features very quick. So you've got four pads. I suppose it's designed to play with sticks, like so. That's coming through my system audio at the moment. Um, you can also play patterns on it too. So if I come over to this red button, the start stop. We can get a sort of all right now type beat going. Just with the start and stop. There we go. Uh, there's 30 patterns to choose from. Now, um, not everyone is probably going to be able to get hold of one of these. What if there was a digital version of it available? Well, now there is because I've created one. I've painstakingly gone through and recorded all the patterns and cut them up into rex loops. And so now, Reason users and um, actually people who can, uh, basically any kind of bedroom producer now can get hold of a DD5 pack from howtoprogramdrums.com. So um, let's just run through some of the patterns and then I'll I'll show you what I've managed to do um, within Reason itself. Here we go. So um, if I start with the front pattern, it's 8 beat 1. That's 8 beat 2. 16 beat 1. 16 beat 2. Rock and roll. Heavy metal. Slow rock. Swing. Ballad. Shuffle. So there's the first 10, just to give you an idea. If we start off, maybe we go to Pops 1, which, which sounds like this. We can also intro it. And do a fill. So you've got that facility available as well. So let's now move over to what we've got in Reason itself. And what you can see on screen here, if I unmute a few of them, in fact if I start with this one. There's your 6-8 march. And why not? Let's just go to the 6 8 march on here and show that we can actually hear it and it's similar. That's the DD5. And this is the Reason version. Okay, so not a lot of difference there. And I've basically gone down and done all 30 of the patterns. And if you scroll down here, you'll see them all in all their glory. 16 beats, afros, ballad, bossa nova, cha-cha-cha, country, disco, one, disco two, Dixie, hard rock, heavy metal, jazz, waltz, march, polka, ondo, pops one, pops two, reggae, rumba, rock and roll, salsa, samba, shuffle, slow rock, swing, tango, waltz, and some other bits and pieces. Let's, um, let's go in and have a look at some of the combinators that I've set up. Okay, so what I've done here is you've got a Dr. Octorex combinator. It's got an Audiomatic to add tape noise, equalizer, EQ, standard reverb and scream. And here we've got all the loops. So for example, if, we're, if I'm clever here, I should be able to actually squash a bit of this stuff up. 
so that we can see it on the screen at once. Let me squash it up a bit more. And if I solo track one and go to the first Rex, see the little green button shows it's only this one that's working at the moment. And so each of your standard patterns are here. 8 beat 1, 8 beat 2, that was 16 beat 1, 16 beat 2, and so on. So that's my first bunch of loops there. You've got 32 in all. Um, it actually runs to 30. Oh yeah, on this one there is a couple of blank spaces. I didn't fill the last two up. You can put in your favorite ones there or you can put some fills in. Um, that's the first combinator. It's basically four Dr. Octorexes with all 30 loops on. So you can play in whatever combination you want. You can even have a few on at the same time if you want. So for example, we could solo uh, one and three. We could have eight beat one playing. And um, what would go well with that? Maybe Pops 2. Maybe Reggae. Let's try Reggae. And now, you... Because of the way loops work, you can't necessarily have loads and loads and loads all going at once. This is really just to give you a bit of flexibility. So for example, if we just show, we'll concentrate for a moment on um, just the first one. Okay, so we've got that one soloed. If we press run down here, in fact, I'll squash that up a bit as well. And you can see by changing the pattern, we've now, gone down to 16 bit 2 so you can change the loops from here and if you get fed up with those you can stop that solo the next one and start that one let's just make sure that one's off And so on and so forth. So this solo three, we'll select a pattern up here. So that's pops two. Now I haven't got much screen to play with here, but again you'll see that you can select the patterns. You'll see this yellow bar, this yellow um, highlight highlight a block move from one place to another. Hondo. Uh, let's do rumba. Here we go. It's mixing them up a little bit here. It can be easier to set up something um, can be easier to set it up with a MIDI controller so you get very fine motor control and I don't know whether you can how well you can see that but if I go into uh, this pattern select button and I do edit override mapping and I'll just take the third knob there okay in fact yeah that'll do and now what I can do is I can twiddle that knob and it will if I twiddle this on here Let's just turn that around a bit more so you can see. So I'm twiddling that knob and you'll see I'm also twiddling it on the screen as well. And that will enable me to switch patterns. So if I'm running this one, uh, that one, and it's currently on rumba, if I start twiddling enough, we're now back onto Pops 2. Pops 1, Hondo, March Polka, and eventually I can turn it off altogether. I can twiddle that and you can see pattern three is working. Now obviously you can go in and, oh, in fact I've just turned it on, there we go, off, 
on. There you go. And off. With this, with this uh, DD5 pack, you're going to get all the original audio loops at 120 beats per minute. So if you've got something like garage band, you can just use those. You'll get the wave files, you can just bung them straight in. I've also added loops in as well, Rex loops, so you'll get those all sliced and diced, like these little beauties here. Um, in fact, I'm going to kick that off again. Come on, you swine. There we go. Right, let's get that up somewhere on the screen. So this is Pops 1, and you can see the MIDI slices are being played like a little jukebox. And if I twiddle that knob again, I can I can select a different one on the screen. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? You've got all the functionality of the original, but in a nice digital format. So we've just got the standard MPK 49 MIDI controller with sliders, knobs, keyboard, drum pads, stuff like that. And we can use that with this. Um, now, that's enough about that combinator, I think. Now, the next combinator up is uh, Rex Loops in Kong. So it's two Kongs, two lots of 16 pads. And um, what you have here is a tick tick added to it which is a step sequencer. So there's my march. Let's just have a look, look see what that looks like. So same deal really, the same loops. And 8 beat 1. And these are in the same order. These are in the same order as the original DD5. So the first Kong goes from 6-8 march through to jazz waltz. And then the next one come down here has got the rest of them on and I've just repeated a couple at the end so you've got 32 patterns all in all with tick tick activated it'll do something fairly snazzy let's just collapse that loop up again and hopefully what I'll be able to show you here is if I press run there it goes now it's there and what this will do is it will play each of the pads in order until it runs out. So it's now on pad four. It plays that for two bars, then it goes on to pad five. And what's driving that is this tick tick sequencer down here. And I'll just shut it up there. Oh, some loop variations, just worth mentioning in passing. It's variations of Disco 2 um, using the ALT function, the slice edit mode, which means um, if we go into slice edit mode here, ALT, there we go. You get these variations, and where there's a yellow blob on the screen, that will randomly play that loop um, in a different way to how it would normally be. So um, that's a pretty cool thing. It basically means you can get eight variations of the same loop. They're not massively different, but they, it just mixes it up a little bit. And perhaps I'll show you that one in a bit more detail on another video. Um, what else is there? There's also a Kong with all the one shots, all the individual sounds on here, set up for general MIDI. And that's linked to a tick tick as well. You've got a bunch of Yamaha preset patterns from the RX-17 that will go with that. And let's see, what else have we got? We've got a re-drum. Yeah, the re-drum's all I want to look at for the time being. So that's that gives you uh, a chance to use the DD-5 in re-drum. Uh, but obviously you've got Kong and you've got Dr. Octorex as well. So it's pretty much every drum machine within reason is covered. Um, so that concludes my look at the DD5 for the time being. And um, check out howtoprogramdrums.com for details on how you can get yourself a copy of the DD5, a digital copy in all its glory. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, have a good one. Bye for now.